I'm going to show you how to use EQ inside Pro Tools to make voices sound great. Okay, here I am in Pro Tools with a male voiceover. Let's play it back. Playing the songs that make you feel good. Now, that voice sounds amazing as it is, but I'm going to make it sound even better by inserting EQ right here on my first insert. So under plugin, you go to EQ and you want to look for the EQ3 7 band. This is a brilliant EQ, very intuitive to use. And as I'm making changes, I'll hit spacebar to keep playing the audio back. So we've got different dots here and they relate to different frequencies in the audio. Obviously down here, this is the low end bass. Up here, it's the high end. And in the middle, we've got all the mid range frequencies. That's kind of where the vocal track falls, really. Uh, so first of all, with this red dot, we can roll off bass. Now, I can do it with the red dot. I kind of like to do it by grabbing a handle, but you can also use these controls here uh, to, that apply to the low frequencies, LF for low frequencies. And we can choose how much to reduce by and also which frequency to start reducing the audio. Let's play back and listen to what it does. Playing the songs that make you feel good. So you can hear the more I push that up, the thinner the voice becomes. The idea is to dial it so we're not really thinning out the voice, but just reducing any bass rumble here. Playing the songs that make you feel... That's good. Then we can give a boost to the bass with the orange. Playing the songs that make you feel... That's a nice good. boost. And then we can use the yellow dot and the green dot to alter mid frequencies and high mid frequencies. Again, we can change the Q if we want to work on a smaller range of frequencies, like so. And we can make it very loud so we can hear. Playing the songs that make you feel good. Hot 91.9. That sounds pretty good. And then I might go ahead and grab the high end and boost that up. Playing the songs that make you feel good. So now we've got a nice crispy sounding awesome voiceover that has been perfectly EQ'd. If we want to compare before and after, we can just click compare on and off. So I'll play it back and I'll disable this halfway through so you can hear my original vocal. Playing the songs that make you feel good. Hot. 91.9. And you probably heard there a difference in EQ as I was switching compare on and off. That is exactly how you EQ. If you want to get the full picture of how to make a vocal chain in Pro Tools and you're really enjoying these videos, go click this video and watch this one next and let me know your thoughts, ideas and feedback in the comments down below.